So, big day for us today. We uh, are going out fishing for the day. We've got uh, our crab traps, our prawn traps all set up. We're gonna go fishing for some sole, because uh, it's one of the few fish that are still uh, open to fish right now. And uh, yeah, let's pack up and get going. All right guys, it's mid-December, we're heading out fishing. This is crazy. And I need sunglasses, it's so bright out now. It's a beautiful day, we timed this well. Things are working out. Let's go catch some food. Okay, crab trap number one, going in the water. Um, one of the questions we got asked when we did our sort of garbage post, we went through two bags of garbage, is what are you doing with all your chicken bones and food scraps and stuff like that? So uh, a lot gets composted, but um, our full sort of carcasses that are left over that we picked off there, go into the ocean, go into our crab traps and keep that cycle of food going for us. Let's stick this guy in there. It won't fit in a bait can, so it'll stay whole in there. And just have another leftover scrap from piece of pod. So. We'll toss that one in, we're about 40 feet deep, and uh, we'll probably leave these guys overnight and come back and check them out. Throw it over if I get stinky. Okay, on to the big one. I can't wait to give you a hug out of this. I don't want one. I will don't decline. Okay, so we got our bait can in there, so that'll keep them coming back, even if they get to everything else that we're gonna put in there. Yes, we do reuse the bags. Oh, smell that. No. Good. That's been some rain. Why are you filming so far away? Because it smells so bad. This stick shit's gonna get a bunch of crap. Okay, let's go set some prawn traps. Chris is looking for sea urchins. Okay, no luck on the urchins. I've seen some here before, but uh, we're gonna hop back in the boat, get back on the water, and go fishing. What are we doing now, babe? We are gonna try catch some prawns. So you gotta weight them down because the current for Prawns, you gotta go like 300 feet deep. So if you just put a trap, it would get dragged around a lot. So you gotta put some weight in there. We just throw an old little dumbbell in there. You have proper weights you can buy if you don't have stuff digging around. But it just makes a lot of work for Steph to pull it up. I forgot to tell you I'm not pulling. There's definitely gonna be some people out there being like, you should have coiled it in the bucket. So if you think about accompanying that, just save it to yourself. Okay. Yes. Let's clip in. Not the knots. Come back in a couple hours, see what happens. Let's go get some fish. Yeah. We're in our secret fishing spot. Not so secret anymore. Mm -hmm. You've been fishing before? Millions. Millions? Bullshit. Millions of times. Oh, you should be a pro. You should catch that. Most of the fishing is closed here because it's December, so you can't fish for salmon, you can't fish for link cod or rock cod or uh, most of the things we normally fish for. So we're going to try fishing for some sole. And this is one of my dad's old favorite fishing spots. And he had a funny little trick. We got buzz bombs that we're going to use. It's a pretty typical fishing lure. But what he always did is put a little bit of bacon fat, and we've got our, some of our pig fat that we kept uh, on the hook as well, just because that oil gives off such a scent. And then sole are bottom feeders and scavengers. so. We're going to probably put a tiny bit of that uh, on the end of the lure as well, just to entice them in. And then really all we do is drop it down to the bottom, jig a little bit. I don't want to jinx it, but you get bites pretty quickly. Make a bet. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Make a bet, you get one in the first five minutes. I'll say first ten minutes. First ten minutes. Who makes dinner tonight? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to fillet them if we get them though? I can Google YouTube, I'll do all of that, but I cannot promise you it will be great. But I'm sure we'll try. Okay, so it went slack there, it came on the bottom. Oh, I got a nibble already. Ooh. What a nice day. Clock's ticking, eh? You have four minutes. Yeah, fish, 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 fish. One minute left. 
probably one year ago today we were fishing in Nicaragua. Yeah, a little bit different style of fishing, eh? Mm-hmm. Well, babe, I'm sorry to say, but you okay. should get out your apron and... I might not be cooking anything if you're going to catch him. <laughs> Going, bitch. I don't know what tough, the goal is, but... Tough to pull up when it's not very tight, huh? <laughs> you didn't teach me how to tighten it. I did, I just showed you. Yeah, but I yeah. need to know twice. This guy here on the side? Yeah, I tried that. How do you know when it's good enough? Because you won't be able to turn it anymore. Oh, <laughs> I think I was going the Yeah, you're definitely going the wrong way. I'm fishing. <laughs> no. You're doing something. It's nothing to it. <laughs> so one more time. <laughs> Left of Lucy. This one. Well, one of the tough things about sole is you they're so small. You don't weigh a lot and don't really fight, so you don't always really know you got one on line. But Steph just got her first one. <laughs> you take it off the hook, babe. I'd hang over the boat so you don't lose it. So what you want to do, I'm see if I can film and show you. Take the pliers and get it around that piece there. Yeah. And then maybe hold them over the net and then see how it's coming through the lip there. See that there? Yeah. So you're going to turn the pliers all the way around like that. Okay, fire back down. Let's okay. get it. Yeah, a little bigger too. See? Oh yeah! Ooh, 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 ooh. So, uh, I knew they were here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a decent sized one. Yeah. Oi. So, how excited were you to get your first sole, babe? So excited. The fishes can hear you. They don't. Uh, they're not nibbling. They're listening. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't already. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Got one? Number two, baby! Are you winning 2-1 now? Yeah, I am. Don't oh. drop it back in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> if you drop that, that wouldn't count. Yeah. Another one, let's do this. Sweet. I'm a pro fisher. You're fisher beat, one in. You're beating me, so. <laughs> Yeah. Good job, man. Oh, I hooked myself. Oh, nice catch. What can I say? I'm quite the catch. Uh, you dropped the fish. You're gonna drop it in the water. No, I'm not. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what do I do? Stop, stop, stop. It's okay, buddy. Two. I guess I better catch another one, huh? <laughs> or I'm Hurry gonna, up. Or I'm never gonna hear the end of it. Well, you already aren't. <laughs> I'm never gonna hear the end of this. I think Steph's pulled off the third. No, I think you got away. Yeah, good. <laughs> it's food for both of us, mister. I'd rather starve than listen oh, to you. But listen what? To me. What? what? <laughs> listen to you brag about beating me fishing. <laughs> This <laughs> count was fully off of in the boat, man. It's the biggest one so far, eh? I think so. <laughs> I may have one on mine right now. I might have Don't go in, babe. And you're still on that same first piece of bacon, too, right? Yeah. Yeah! Four. Go ahead, baby. Get it, get it. Whoop, whoop! Womp, womp, womp. Nada. Nada. That's okay. I'm not, I'll leaving, feed I'm us. not leaving until I get one. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'll give you one of mine. You can take credit for one of mine. Alright, so I got three fish. Chris, how many did you get? Okay, okay. So now we're going to go pull up the prawn in the crab traps. Check those out and... Not a bad day though. Nope, not What's a bad this? day at all. Alright, so we're here at our prawn trap. Uh, it's only been down for about three or four hours. I'm really not expecting that much, but the tide and current's just too far or too fast out here to really um, leave out here overnight, which is probably less a short time, so who knows what we're gonna get. Oh, one just got out. Two 
we'll, maybe we'll reset it overnight. Feeling ballsy? I'm feeling a little ballsy. It didn't move very much from where we were. We got lots of rope and this prawn's down here, so why not? Let's do it, maybe. Yeah? Yeah. That means we gotta come back tomorrow. Yep. Okay. So, this wasn't the best, but for a three hour soak down there, five prawns is pretty good. It's the time of year where some of the females are laying eggs. So unfortunately, the biggest one we gotta throw back, of course. You can see in there, oh, I don't move it too much. You can see all the kind of eggs that are under there. So we're gonna let her go. Uh, lay more spot prawns for future years, future generations do the right thing. As much as I'd love to eat that right now. So, that one will go three. We got four other ones here that did not have eggs. So we'll take them home and have Two prawns each for dinner. That seagull just get that. Oh, that's too big. It's too big. Okay, <laughs> let's go see if we got any crab. Yeah. So it's starting to get dark a little bit. We time this well. We're gonna pick up our crab traps uh, on the way back right here, and so that tops off our uh, our day. And we got three different types of sea. Nada. Back she goes. It's the other one that's going to be stinkier, so I think that'll be some better luck than this one. This one has a better bait in it, so. So we're back from fishing and we normally show you kind of all the fun things that we do during the day or the big projects that we're doing but there's lots of other things we do every day on a regular basis so one of the things we haven't showed you yet is going and picking up all the scraps from the local bakery here and we're gonna go feed the pigs we haven't shown you them in a while so we're gonna go uh, get them their dinner so we're here at the bakery they just kind of leave them uh, out back for us in compostable bags and we take them and feed the pigs so we pick this up three or four times a week depending on when they message us that they got some and then we all go check in on our pigs I guess I can help. Yeah, that's right. Alrighty. Hi, babies! <laughs> Hi, babies! So they do come in plastic bags, but they're compostable ones, so we do take them home and compost these, I promise. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Stop it! We got three whole buckets for you guys to. I always feel bad because they get in the way and I'm dumping it on them, but there's no way not to do it. <laughs> I think they'd love to be covered with food. Whoa, that's like chicken stew. They're gonna love that. They're gonna pay no attention to me right now. Right in the last bucket. Healthy kids. That is not a bad dinner. <laughs> I'd take it. Yeah, I'd take it. <laughs> Enjoy, babies! Hi guys, so uh, I think we got a little bit cocky yesterday. We had uh, a beautiful sunny day out on the water and it was nice and calm and things were looking good. So we said, oh, we'll leave the prawn trap out there. And uh, today is miserable and stormy. So I'm just hopeful we can even find it today at this point. So we'll, uh, we'll head out in the water. We'll show you what we mean. Oh, Lee, that was bad. 